Recently, we cleared some pathways in here with a forestry mulcher. And one of the reasons why we wanted to do that was to have access, more access to our woods, but then also be able to drive in here. This thing is pretty small, but I don't know if it's narrow enough for these trails. It took me exactly seven days to make me realize that buying this Japanese imported 4x4 Suzuki farm truck was the best decision that we have ever made since moving on our bigger property. This thing's gonna help me do trail maintenance, bring some chainsaws up here. I do wanna add things to it like maybe a bed liner or at least put in a rubber mat. We're gonna put some storage in today and then also just fix it up a little bit. Now we're going back up the property and this is the part that I'm a little worried about because it gets a little kind of narrow up here. Scratched my truck. My brand new truck got scratched. I'm a little tight here, guys. We got it. How am I? Yeah! Got it, got it. That's probably the tightest spot there. I could probably knock down a tree and then we'd be fine. This is a little weird. Let's put it for low. Got it, Penelope. Yeah. That's a little tight. We got it. Building up. This truck is in kilometers. I got this $10 GPS speedometer. You just plug it in for a USB port. I like how it's dual purpose. I can drive it, you know, doing chores, farm chores, and then I could drive it into town to the hardware store and pick up some things. You know, we're a one car family, so it helps. I'm trying not to put a whole lot of money in this. I mean, you could really customize these type of trucks and it's, it's really hard for me not to do that. But keep thinking, it's a, it's a farm truck. It's still a farm truck. It's just something to help me do chores in. I ended up grinding some of the rust spots, especially along the bed, which had the most. Didn't have too many, but it still had some of that. This was a pretty bad one here. It started rotting out the hinge, uh, which it's still pretty on there, really good. There's still this part, this is fine. It's just this right here, it just rotted out. I don't know if I should just weld that up, repair that somehow, or just kind of leave it. Whoever had this truck previously, I mean, they just, that's what they kind of did here. It looked like they just sanded this down. It looked like a dent. Maybe it had some rust spots and they just filled it in with some paint. From here, it doesn't look bad. You can't hardly even tell it's there. You just really have to look at it. Doesn't look too bad, that white. I mean, you can't really tell too much. I'm just using a Krylon gloss white. This is a primer and paint all in one. I'm gonna put a new front bumper on this, but it, the bumper I'm gonna put on is really just on top of that, kinda. I wanna paint this.
So it has these little plastic clips holding it bolted on here and then a screw a screw and another bolt Should just pop into place. Since I've been used to walking everywhere, it's difficult to realize that hey, I have a farm truck now, I can use that. But these last couple weeks, I've been better at figuring out hey, let's use it for this, let's use it for that. I'm still getting used to this truck having it. It's pretty nice though, you know, before I'd be, you know, I only have two hands, plus I have a camera. And you know, I can only take so much when I go out and feed the animals, so it's literally two buckets or one bucket. But now I can put a whole mess load of buckets of feed back there and just take it up and just start feeding the animals with it. And bungee strap and everything <clears throat> this is called the perfect bungee my favorite bungee cord I'm not sponsored by them but I just think it's a great product it stretches it's easy to use I think I need to get a different bucket that's gonna break one of these days Had to install emergency bungee on here. The weakest point on a five gallon bucket is the handle. You know, after putting the water in there, it didn't last very long. Then it busted, it fell on the floor. I found them with the chickens out of water. And then so luckily I had this bungee strap, just wrapped it around, hooked it up here. If I haven't had these in the back of my truck here, then uh, yeah. It would have been a, a really bad day. I do see the value in walking because I feel like you see more things. You know, you, you see more flowers and walking through the pasture. Hey, Binks. You hear the noises versus driving, you know, you don't really see some of the things, you kind of miss them.
these trucks hardly have any storage but now I have a storage to fit my bungees. That's all I for some ratchet straps. And it doesn't have to be super weatherproof or watertight. You know, it's just ratchet straps and bungees. But I think this is gonna work.